Hey what's up guys it's Fisao here and in this video what's going about this device after using this device for a few days I can assure you that you're about to have your mind pulled by the Xiaomi 12 Pro. If you're new to the channel welcome and if you're returning welcome back I'd love it if you could hit that like button so more people can get to see this review and be informed you know more people like you can get to watch this video. Alright without further ado let's get into the video. As always, we'll start off with the unboxing experience of Xiaomi's premium flagship. So I got this blacked out box just before the launch with all of the unique features of the Xiaomi 12 Pro on top of it, the sound by Hammond Cardon and 5G inscription. I have to say that 5G is pretty much a requirement than a feature at this point. Now cutting off the tapes and opening the box shows you a smaller box with a design by Xiaomi inscription right there. On opening that box, you get the SIM ejector tool and inside of it, you get the silicone case, the 12 Pro starter guide in multiple languages the warranty card and lastly the safety information. Uh, the next is the Xiaomi 12 Pro itself with all of the highlighted features up front uh, but we'll get to that later. Taking the paper material out you see the rest of the accessories. You get this sizable 120 watts uh, fast charging adapter. For context if you take a thousand naira bill uh, this is what it looks like in comparison. This is one of those things where you have to see it for yourself to know how large it is and how quite weighty it is. We did test the charger in this video so stick around until the end or close to the end of this video and then you get the power cable. That is all in the box and I must commend Xiaomi. The paper materials used within the packaging are actually recycled materials but they still have good quality and it's a good one on your environment and hey you know we get the charger. Getting to the device now you see the highlighted features what Xiaomi calls pro grade triple 50 megapixel camera array a 50 megapixel telephoto lens a 50 megapixel wide and a 50 megapixel ultra wide lens like how cool is that guys 50 50 50 megapixels and of course the selfie camera is 32 megapixels that is a lot of value right there if you ask me but we'll get to that later even the processor we get on here is a very new one the snapdragon 8 gen 1 4 nanometer processor with 5g the display quality is wqhd with uh one 120 hertz it's also amoled the quad speakers and sound by Harman cardon and 120 hertz charging capabilities plus 50 watts wireless turbo charging we will get to all of these features in this video so don't go anywhere now removing the recycled paper wrap and the sticker from the back you see that the xiaomi 12 pro comes in a pretty neutral design overall nothing too over the top here with this gray color that i got still though given a significant facelift to this design is the triple camera setup on the back of this device i pretty much screamed in shock when i saw this camera setup fun fact each camera on here is 50 megapixels as i mentioned and you do not want to make out on how these cameras perform which I'll share later in this video. The Xiaomi 12 Pro is a sizable device with ample screen real estate and the height of about 6.4 inches. That aside we get nothing to the left of this device. Uh, you'll find the volume markers and the power button right underneath that on the right side and on the bottom is where we've got you know the type C charging port, the SIM tray, the bottom speaker grill, a microphone and as you can see we do not have any headphone port. At the top there is another microphone and the speaker grill. Uh, the Xiaomi 12 series actually features the sound by Haman Cardon and the audio experience we witness here at the studio you know is what I would describe as uh, immersive. It's also powered by a Dolby Atmos with some sort of special sound and realism. The Xiaomi 12 Pro has quad speakers uh, right here even as it has two speaker grills. This comes in the form of two tweeters and two woofers that have an interesting range from what we tested here. So as I said, while this is not the most elaborate design, I think that the best things about this device are on the inside of it. The massive almost bezel-less display on the front of the Xiaomi 12 Pro is a Corning Gorilla Glass Victor screen on the outside and a 6.73 inch 1440p WKHD AMOLED dot display on the inside. The display has a resolution of 3200 by 1440p and a refresh rate of 120 hertz. On the matter of refresh rates, uh, the display of this device is a dynamic 120 hertz ltpo uh, display which means the refresh rate will automatically set itself to the most suitable one uh, at time or at the time of usage or depending on what you're doing and this is a great way to enjoy using your display without messing too much with the battery life xiaomi also claims that the 12 pro has a touch sampling rate as high as 480 hertz looking at some specs you find out that this display also comes with dolby vision hdr 10 plus support a contrast ratio of 8 million to 1 
and 1500 nits of peak brightness remember that i mentioned earlier that you know the screen is a wqhd screen well as another extra effort to optimize your battery life and keep your device running for as long as possible there's a feature on this device that allows you to switch between two different screen resolutions so there's full hd plus uh, resolution and a wqhd plus resolution depending on your battery life and your personal preferences the design uh, the device would allow you to switch between resolutions as you wish via the setting there's a lot of stuff happening under the hood here to ensure that this display is as high quality as possible whether you're watching videos playing games and as funny as it might sound whether you're scrolling you get to experience feeling quite an incredible amount of smoothness on this device honestly scrolling was one of my favorite things to do with the Xiaomi 12 Pro. When I scrolled through both the phone's interface and different apps, the high refresh rate was evident and it made it fun to use. You know, it made this device fun to use and as I swiped from one app to the next, although it's not uh, among the display features of this device, I must say that the haptic feedback of the Xiaomi 12 Pro when I was typing was top tier. It felt like something I would love typing on for a while and in fact, I'm actually considering switching to this guy. Everything that this device has to offer would probably be useless if you did not have the proper performance features to back it up. Well, Xiaomi already knew this and placed some of the highest end features that you can find on the market and you know, similarly on other latest flagship devices. They placed those features on this guy. The Xiaomi 12 Pro is powered by Qualcomm's top of the line Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. And as far as RAM and ROM power, you get 12 gigs of base RAM and an extra three gigs through memory fusion, making it 15 gigs of RAM. And you get 256 gigs of storage. And it comes with Android 12 pre-installed and a MIUI version 13. Please note that this is not the same as Android 13 and we do not know yet uh, how many Android version updates that this device will be getting. Now, numbers aside, the Xiaomi 12 Pro flew right through all the apps I used to run. Uh, as usual, I tested out the power of this device by playing graphic intensive games like Asphalt, PUBG, Call of Duty and Need for Speed. And as a fun test, I played each of these games, you know, I minimized them and I went on to the next game on this device. And when I came back to the game, it did not budge a single frame. I also noticed that I could max out the frame rate and the graphic quality in Call of Duty, which you cannot find on most devices. And it was just a fun fact to mention. This was quite cool. I, I must commend how well this smartphone handled graphic intensive tasks. This device also is complemented by its speed and all the performance features. You get the game booster feature for gaming and 120 hertz supported games run as smoothly as they get on here. All of these make it a solid choice for people who of course play games and if you're a big power user, I think that this device is just powerful enough to handle whatever it is that you're throwing at it. All right, all of the stuff we've discussed so far is great, but what about the battery life? Well, the 4,600 milliamp hour battery capacity that comes on here is decent. And while I would have prepared something bigger for a flagship device, you know, with these many features, in reality though, all the battery optimization features that you get on this device play a pretty significant role in helping you get the best out of the battery. Even though I wasn't constantly on the phone, I used it for long hours of gaming, taking photos and 4K videos, even 8K videos with its exciting features that we'll get into in a bit. And of course, browsing different apps and you know, using these devices generally, it lasted up to two days. But that includes a lot of standby time and running all the high-end features that the device wants would drain your battery even more. If you decide to use this as your primary Primary device and have a lot of on uh, screen on time you might want to adjust your settings accordingly but with the correct settings you would probably never need to be looking for your charger while you're out during the day now when it comes to charging though the Xiaomi 12 Pro is by far one of the fastest charging devices that I have reviewed the 120 watt fast charger that comes in the box with the Xiaomi you know is what Xiaomi calls a hypercharge it definitely lives up to its name within the first five minutes of charging with the fast charger the device went from 0 to 18 percent by 15 minutes of charging the device was already more than half full at 52 percent after about 30 minutes of charging, the device was already at 88%. It eventually got to 100% after about 35 minutes of charging. 35 minutes, 0 to 100% in 35 minutes. 
Wow. Like with all the Xiaomi 12 Pro features, the charging also comes with some extra things. So this device is capable of 50 watt wireless charging or wireless turbo charging and 10 watt reverse wireless charging. So many things in this stuff let's now get to the cameras on the xiaomi 12 pro with the new trend of having more than one camera on the phone most brands are putting different lenses with low you know low megapixels low quality cameras just to add that extra number but definitely not xiaomi xiaomi said you know let's put 350 megapixel cameras on this device on the back now that's 150 megapixels sitting pretty on the back of your phone but before we dig down that rabbit hole the camera on the front of this device is a 32 megapixel uh, selfie camera on the xiaomi 12 pro there's a 50 megapixel primary wide angle camera that does 8k recording 4k hdr 10 plus motion tracking focus and eye tracking focus like actual cameras and portrait night mode the second camera is yet another 50 megapixel camera however this ultra wide camera goes as wide as 115 degrees the last camera is 50 megapixels as well that one is a telephoto camera that can go up to 20x zoom on the inside what you can achieve with the cameras of the xiaomi 12 pro will blow your mind first off you get all their regular photo video mode portrait mode and all of that stuff on the first screen which is what you see uh, the pictures i took on this device were sharp the power of 50 megapixels is evident in how the camera captures in detail and how you can even zoom into these photos as far as the ultra wide and telephoto lenses do they impress as well uh, the ultra wide photos carry the usual uh, distortion but still it maintains some level of sharpness and detail as for the telephoto it does a good zoom and the processing shows you a sharper form of the image after you've taken it once you open the camera app you get the standard uh, video photo photo and portrait mode. The portrait shots were also pretty good. The app lets you adjust how blurred the background should be. Increasing the blur adds sharp edges that make the image look over processed. But when you reduce it, the processing feels and looks a little bit uh, better and more natural. The pro section and more are where uh, things get very interesting. In the more section, you get the night mode, 50 megapixel ultra HD mode, and these other modes. We did take photos in the normal and 50 megapixel mode, and there are nuances that you can find here and there. The other modes in the more section include short video, panorama, document for scanning, you know, your documents, vlog, slow motion, time lapse, movie effects, long exposure, super moon to capture the moon, and dual video. These modes offer a wide range of creative options for what you can achieve with the camera you know on this device they all come with preset effects that help you create exciting videos and photos the pro section is where i think the best thing about the camera of the xiaomi 12 pro lies generally with most pro sections in many smartphones you only get the flexibility to manually adjust settings like shutter speed iso and maybe white balance well xiaomi 12 pro does that and takes the pro to a whole new level. You can switch between pro video and pro photo by tapping on the button to the right side of the shutter. They even have a section where they explain everything that you need to know about the pro mode settings. First with the photo mode on in the pro section, you can adjust the picture mode to create very flat images that allows you enough flexibility when you're editing. It also lets you shoot raw, which is just amazing. Xiaomi still kills it with the exposure verification as well. On the pro video side of things, you have focus picking, which highlights areas of the video that you have in focus. It, it highlights it in red, in a red color. Even as you pull focus from one object to the other. Oh, and yes, you can adjust the focus point with a slider from one section of the video to another section. For video here, you can shoot 720p at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second, 4K 30 and 60 frames per second, and finally, 8K at just 24 frames per second. I did record this particular video that you're watching in 8K, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. In reality, the video quality from this smartphone was mind-blowing. The level of quality in footage and the features that it was able to pull off took me off guard many times. Of course, uh, you know, out of everything that I've talked about so far, what was the most interesting for me was how it could also shoot log. 
in video. One of the many things that smartphones do is that they record video and the image is already processed for you with contrast and colors already baked in. For filmmakers who want to shoot flat and then color grade by themselves, uh, this camera comes with the option of capturing footage in log which will go by default at 4k at 30 frames per second i guess it does make sense that the tagline for this device is master every scene now the camera performance of this device is impressive especially for video a category that most brands have still not figured out yet even in their flagship devices i would definitely recommend the cameras on this device any day and any time i mean 50 what? 50 all right, now let's talk about security. The fingerprint scanner on the Xiaomi 12 Pro is under the display. Setting it up was pretty simple and it does take a few seconds to unlock after you place your finger on the screen. The animation and the vibration, take note, the vibration as well, that comes with unlocking the fingerprint reader is very cool. As I mentioned earlier, the haptic feedback on this device is really well done. Facial recognition is also very fast and it was one of the easiest to set up as well. In a matter of three to five seconds, you'll be done setting up facial recognition. And after that quick setup, uh, you know, I was a little skeptical about how it would perform, but it did not fall short at all. Unlocking this device was again fast in both ways. I don't have any complaints about that at all. If you have this device set to race to wake and have stay on lock screen after unlocking turned off, it will unlock itself once you pick up the device and you know, pick up the device, point it to your face, it unlocks, goes straight into the phone. So this is a sound recording straight from the Xiaomi 12 Pro. I'm holding it the way I would hold it when I'm making a phone call. Let me know what you think about the sound quality in the comment section below. As for the built-in speakers on this device, I was once again shocked by how well it performed. The way this phone handles bass is one of the best I've heard in a smartphone. And if you did a blind test, you probably would not guess it was from this particular smartphone. I mean, I was playing music from a distance and I couldn't tell the difference between this and my laptop that cost thousands of dollars. So here is a sample of how the speaker of the Xiaomi 12 Pro sounds. The Xiaomi 12 Pro is one of the most impressive flagship devices that have come out this year and I was kind of shocked by the level of performance and features that this thing offers. The price tag on this guy is $999 or in Nigeria, according to a Xiaomi Nigeria's official Twitter handle, it goes for 499,000 naira, very close to 500,000 naira. This is for the 12 gig RAM and 256 gig storage version, exactly the one we have here and we have been using for the almost two weeks. Now, would I recommend this device? Well, if you've got the budget for it, by all means, do try it out in the store. If you can, maybe just play with 120 hertz. You can also cross-reference it with what I've said in this review video. This is from me using this phone for about two weeks now, and I think that this is a good buy if you've got the budget for it, just about 500K. Let me know your thoughts on this device. Let us chat in the comment section right there if you have any question. If there's anything you think I missed, please leave a comment there and I'll be right there chatting with you guys. Be sure to hit that like button so more people can get benefits from all what we've gathered in this video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the red subscribe button and the bell icon beside you to hit turn on notifications so that you'll be the first to know when we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the very next one.